This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the uh, configuration of firewalls using group policy. We've been talking about the firewall and a Windows firewall with advanced security and all the different capabilities that it has. The problem is that you lack consistency if you don't use group policy. Well, well thankfully, with group policy, you, you can get that consistency. And so, you know, it's one of those things where the firewall is important, it protects us, from internal and external threats, just I need that consistency. And so, uh, you know, that's where this really comes into play. We're going to edit the default domain policy. We're going to expand Windows settings and security settings. And we're going to find there the uh, Windows firewall with advanced security snap in. Okay. And what we see at this point will be almost identical to what we see locally. In fact, I'm going to go over to Server Manager, <coughs> go up to the Tools menu and open up the local Windows Firewall. Okay, I'm going to do that just for comparison purposes. Okay, so we've got over here the GPO, you know, and we've got the ability to enable, disable the firewall and do, you know, whatnot, uh, configure IPsec settings. And, and look, you have the exact same capabilities there, you know, the same options exist in the in the firewall. The inbound rules, now I'll have a bunch of rules listed here and I won't have the same thing over here, but that's just because there are no rules in the policy. The If you were to right click and create a new rule, you get a wizard that looks like this. If you were to right click in a group policy object to create a new rule, you get the same wizard. <laughs> okay, and so that's the idea is that you can do things in the exact same way. So for instance, we talked about, you know, there are certain rules that are required across all systems. I need these rules. I need file and printer sharing. I, I need that to be available so that I can use, I can access files, so that I can do the group policy results and whatnot. And so all of these are a part of that pre-configured rule. We hit next, we say we want to allow the connection finish and we're done. You know, now I can be sure that every machine that is affected by these policies uh, will have these particular rules. IPsec would be another place where it's very, very critical for us to have consistency. I can right click, create a new connection security rule, and I can specify that, you know, this was essentially any IP addresses you know, that are communicating with, and we put in the IP address of, let's say, the, the SQL server, okay? And so, you know, 85 is the IP address of that. So, from any endpoint to this IP address, we're going to enforce security. And we're going to require authentication. Uh, and we're going to configure the, uh, the authentication and encryption settings. And IPsec is a very large topic, but uh, the biggest thing about IPsec is the fact that if they don't negotiate security, in other words, they don't have settings that, you know, correspond to one another, then they're not going to talk. Uh, and so you, consistency with IPsec is very big. So you can create a rule, SQL security, okay, create a rule, and that is, that rule is now inside this policy applied effective to all computers and it's done in a very consistent fashion. So, uh, you know, again, and I've said this a lot through the section, and that's just, you know, we need to use the firewall. It is very important. What we lack is consistency, but we can obtain that consistency by using group policy to push out these firewall changes. So, uh, you know, test them and plan them for sure, but then create a GPO and apply the policy settings that you need, or the rules, I, sh I should say, that you need to that GPO. And that way we can get consistent security across all our systems. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. 
Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.